More than $27 million in emergency COVID-19 relief funds are being used to help some of the area's most vulnerable populations. Cronkite News reporter Fallon Overstoltz mcnair tells us how the money is helping not only individuals, but also changing how the region combats homelessness. Really everything is on fire. So, <laughs> Samantha Bedford became homeless in 2019, facing threats of eviction and disagreements with her landlord when she was injured and unable to work. It was no payment arrangements, you have it all including late fees or else. Here comes another eviction which is more fees. And it's really ridiculous to have to live that way. So I said forget it and my kids and I, we were homeless. Nonprofit organizations like Homeward Bound gave Samantha and her family a home and a new start. These programs help the region put people in homes. As we've been working alongside with municipalities on hotels, temporary shelter, um, providing hotels and supportive services to individuals, getting them off the street. So actually, um, it has provided us an opportunity to uh, think about ways to serve people that we historically have not. Nikki Stevens, who works in the county, explains a large sum of emergency COVID-19 aid is helping fight homelessness. Actually, the influx of federal money, money has allowed us to think, um, again, outside the box, thinking of ways that we can serve people in, in, in different areas. Homelessness in the area is growing at one of the fastest rates in the country as wages fall behind rent prices. Stevens says that is their biggest challenge and more people are at risk as eviction protections end. <laughs> now Samantha Bedford is currently focused on going back to school and says she can't thank the caseworkers at Homeward Bound enough. In Phoenix, Bowen Overstoles McNair, Cronkite News. Money from federal COVID-19 relief is also being used to create new homeless shelters in areas outside of, valley, outside of the valley in downtown Phoenix.